The Chicago Bears announced what was widely expected. Both Ryan Pace, the GM, and Matt Nagy will be back as head coach next year. My position was very simple. Fire both or fire neither. And if you fire both, you better fire Ted Phillips as well because that guy's been there 21 years hiring general managers and coaches who've been getting fired because they haven't gotten it done. So I think they made the right decision under the circumstances. Stay the course. They've been to the playoffs two out of the last three years. they got to fix the quarterback position. If it's a disaster next year, yeah, everybody gets fired. But the next time everybody gets fired, everybody needs to include the president of the team who – avoids accountability. We've talked about these jobs. These are the Jack Easterby jobs. The people who have their their spoon in the stew, but if the stew ends up being rancid, they never are asked to turn in their apron. And, Mike, they've made it clear by saying today that we are not giving these guys contract extensions, that they are absolutely on the hot seat and they need to take another step. Now, what that other step is – We don't know whether that means winning a playoff game or getting to the championship game or getting to the Super Bowl. We don't know what that next step is, but Pace will be in the final year of his deal, and Nagy has two years left on his deal. So these guys are absolutely on the hot seat going into this year. They're going to have to answer that quarterback question and answer it in a hurry if they're going to keep their jobs beyond this season. Let me make one other point real quick. I know we have to go. We've got Football Pod in America coming up, and as usual, it chews up about half of the show. The Vikings still don't know what's happening with offensive coordinator Gary Kubiak. They better figure that out because that's not going to be an easy job to fill because there's a hot seat in Minnesota for 2021. It reminds me of coaches in the past – like a, like a Lovey Smith when he was in Chicago and he was on the hot seat. It's hard to hire an offensive coordinator when that guy knows that everyone's job is riding on his performance in his first year. So they better figure this out. And I've heard that Gary Kubiak's trying to position his son Clint to take over. Whatever they're doing, they better figure it out because it's going to be hard to find anybody. Maybe they have to give it to Clint because everybody else will say, no, thank you. I don't want to be the guy who has to save everyone's job by fixing Kirk Cousins in 2021. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.